Welcome back my friends, this is Ami and today I have another workout for you. Today I'm going to start off with some jump roping to get my blood flowing and get some sweat going. As you know, jump roping is one of my favorite things to do. I actually like everything that I do. It's Everything I do is my favorite thing it seems like. But to get going, I do a few different things with jump rope in before I actually get into the hardcore part, which is gonna be the double unders. I haven't done these in over a month. I haven't actually jump roped in over a month. By the time I'm done with this double unders, I am a sweaty mess. My heart rate is through the roof, but for some reason, this is my favorite part of jump rope in right here. And sometimes it feels like I'm not even doing anything, which seems like, you know, um, being a little cocky, but once your body gets used to it, you can do so many of these double unders without actually feeling like you're doing anything. Take your time, just do it right. We will rise to the skies. Cause we ain't done till we hit the sun. I don't know why I looked at her like she messed me up, but really I was actually really done with doing double unders because like I said, I haven't done it in over a month and I was dying. So thank you girl for coming out of that room and saving me. For our full body workout, we're gonna start off with shoulder presses and I am using 15 pounds. I did 20 repetitions of each exercise that I'm gonna show you and three sets. Three sets is gonna be my magic number. Rarely will I do more than three sets. Next, we're going to do a variation on lateral raises, and I am using eight pound dumbbells for each arm. By the time I was done with this exercise, my arm was dead, my back was dead, and I was dead. This looks super easy, but it is working so many different muscles. Make sure you give it a try. Next, we're gonna target that under glute, side glute. We're gonna target the whole glute with this exercise. If you don't have a Swiss ball, just make sure your body is elevated. We're gonna do hip adduction, abduction with resistant bands. And when I tell you my glutes were falling off, this was actually my second set and I was dead by then. I was, I don't know how I managed to do this second set and the last set. Once 
once I was done with that exercise, I took a second to breathe and get some blood flow going in those glutes. And then I got right into one of my favorite exercises, which is a variation on glute bridges or hip thrusters. This is like by far my favorite way to grow my glutes, my favorite way to target all of those tiny muscles that you never get to target. If you never feel your glutes while working out, add this variation to your workouts because when I tell you I was dead, dead, my glutes were dead by the time I was done with this. Like, my glutes were dead by the time I got to this point and we have three exercises left. For our next exercise, we're gonna do fire hydrants, basic basic exercises, but add in resistant bands to it just elevates everything. We're gonna do 20 repetitions on each leg and three sets total. I usually try to distract myself from the pain and when I tell you I was dying inside, I was dying. Next, we're gonna do bird dog with the resistant bands around our feet. This exercise is gonna target your whole body. It is one of my favorite exercises to do. Your heart isn't there, don't tell me when 
going to actually go to the hip adduction machine, but I'm going to add resistant bands to it to give it a greater burn. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this workout. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit on that subscribe button and also hit on that bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. My legs are currently on life support and I hope yours are too.